Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to flip a video on CapCut Desktop. To start by adding your video, if you don't already have it here, simply import and uh, select the video you want to flip. And now click on the little plus icon here. And now down on the timeline, uh, if your video isn't also selected, simply click on it. And now you have a few different options here. Click on this little uh, function here that says mirror. And as you can see, it just mirrored the video. And now it's back to original and mirrored. And that's how you can mirror a video on CapCut Desktop. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you two options to fade in a video on CapCut. So start by adding your clip by importing it, or if you already imported your clip, simply click on the plus icon and add it to the track. So the easiest option if you want to fade in a video is simply to go click on the clip at the timeline and now click animation and you can click on the fade in option here. And as you could see, there was a quick fade in here. However, if you want to uh, create a longer fade in, you can simply go here and now click on the video if it's not already selected. Click video, basic and scroll down a little bit until you see opacity. Now at the very start of the video, I want you to click add keyframe. And now you simply move this line until where you want the fade in to go to. So I want a decent, uh, a decent uh, fade in. So I'm going to click here and add another keyframe again. Once you've added two keyframes uh, that acts as the start and the end of the fade in, simply click on the little, little back arrow here that says last keyframe. Go back. Now you're at the start of the keyframe. And on this opacity line, I want you to click and go all the way down. So you fade in from black. If you don't want to fade in from black, that's fine. You can fade in from wherever you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to show black from this uh, for this option. So now you can see in between these two keyframes, it's going to fade in when I click play. And when you use keyframes to do it, it's going to give a bit more of a cinematic view to it rather than the quick uh, fading we saw before. But these are the two easy options you have on CapCut to fade in a video. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to track an object or follow a face on CapCut. So to start with, add your video to the timeline here or import it and then add it if you haven't already uploaded a video. And now here on the video itself, I want you to slightly drag it out and enlarge it. So it's a bit bigger than um, the entire video. Um, so we have some, you know, space to play with. And the next step is to go to text at the top left corner and click default and click on the plus sign to add some text. And now we want to just do uh, like, you can write a dot or you can write an O or whatever you want to track, whatever makes sense for you. I'm just going to write a dot and slightly enlarge it here. And now I'm going to place that on the middle of her face. She's going to be the main object that we want to track. And uh, you always want to do this at the start of the video where you start tracking from. Um, now just expand the text. I'm actually just going to cut this video a bit. Um, here. Just so I don't need to show the entire video. It's going to take a while. Um, but simply start by placing the dot here. And now click on the video here. Um, and now the next step is to go to position. So video basic position. And now click on the keyframe here. And now we're adding a keyframe. And now on my keyboard, I click on the uh, right arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now I take on the video here, hold and drag so the, that her face is in the center of the video again, like this. And now it automatically adds a new keyframe to track. Um, so I'm just going to do it every five little, um, what's it called? Like steps on my, or clicks on my keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to retrack it here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Now we can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Here. One, two, three, four, five. You can see we have an issue here as the video is actually out of the frame right now. So if you have the same issue, you need to either go back or you can just not follow the face there. I'm just going to do it like this for this video. It just looks decent, but um, that's something to keep in mind. One, two, three, four, five. And again, 
see. I'm just going to go down a bit. I should have zoomed in a bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's just see here. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that's pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we don't actually have more keyframes now. So now from here, you simply go here and click delete, delete the text. And now when I go back to the video, you can see that her face is tracked. And just for reference, this is what the video looked like before. Um, so depending on how much movement there is, you need to zoom in on the video a bit more. Uh, so it doesn't get out of, I think I actually made a mistake here. You can see right here to the left side of the video, it gets smaller right here. Um, so obviously you want to zoom in enough so this doesn't happen, especially if you're doing it on a pretty long video. But that's essentially how you can track an object or face on CapCut. Um, and that's going to give you a bit more precision than if you use the also track function. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to group clips in CapCut desktop. To start by adding your two uh, videos down to the timeline, simply by clicking the blue button here and here. If you don't have your videos in here, simply click import and choose them in your files. Once you're on your timeline, simply take and hold and drag, or you can click on, e click on each clip and click control on your keyboard and click on the other video you want to group it with. From here, once both are marked or all the videos you want to group, simply right click and now go down here and click Create compound clip. And now you can see it's lo one long video. You don't have to split in between these two videos. Um, and that's simply how you can group clips on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to increase the speed of a video in CapCut desktop. To start by adding your video by clicking import or go down on the video if you're already imported it and click on the blue button. And now, once we've added the video to the track, make sure to select it. And now, on the right-hand side here, we have a few different options, video speed, animation, adjustment. Simply go to speed. And now you have an option to hold and drag to increase the, um, the speed of the video here. And as you can see, uh, the video just got smaller as we increase the speed. Um, and the same thing will happen if I decrease the speed. So here um but yeah here you have the option to um increase the speed times 100 if you wish to or just a little bit if it's a slow video um and once you play it you can see that the video has been sped up and for more visual image you can see it here and that's how you can increase speed on a video in CapCut desktop Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you two different ways you can zoom in on your CapCut videos on PC. So start by adding your video to the track or click import and add your video if you haven't already. So click the little blue button here. And now on the track, let's say you want to zoom in from the very start of the video. Simply go over here and ensure you're in video, basic, and then go down to scale. And now add a keyframe here to the right sa side. And now um simply play the video until you want to zoom in to end so let's say i want to zoom in until here now click another keyframe or add another keyframe sorry and zoom into the level you wish to zoom into and if we want this to fade out um then you can simply add a keyframe right after or you can let it fade out slowly as well so i'm going to show you how to add a keyframe right after so simply just click uh, ahead to the right on your keyboard once like this. Now click add a keyframe and then write 100 to get back to original like this. And now when we play our video, you can see it zooms in and then it gets back to normal. Another option if you want like a click, uh, sorry, a quick reaction um, zoom in, for example, is to simply go in your clip and now on your keyboard uh, click Control B to make a cut in the video and then play until you want the zoom in to happen and control B again. Now we have a separate little um, split in the video down here and you can simply click on it and now you can click on the scale and zoom in and even adjust to where you want to. Um, and now when you play the video, you can see you get a quick zoom in. 
Um, and that's two different options to zoom in on uh, CapCut on PC. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to change the language of your CapCut uh, desktop. So start by opening up your CapCut. If you're on the front screen, I have a different tutorial I will link. Um, otherwise, follow this tutorial if you want to change the language while, you, while you're in the video editing mode. So start by going up to the menu in the top left corner here and now click and simply go down to settings, click, and now you can see in the middle you have draft edit performance language. Simply go to language, and now you can choose the language uh, which you wish to change your CapCut to. Um, and that's simply how you can do it. Once you have chosen your language, simply click save, and then your CapCut will change the language. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to uh, import audio to your CapCut. Uh, so start by opening up your CapCut and you should have um, a screen that looks like mine. So start by ensuring that you are on import, then device and then import. If you're on one of these, that might be why you're having issues with importing your audio, but ensure you are on device and import. So now you just simply click import here, select your audio. And now you have the audio that you can easily drag down or click plus here to add to your timeline. Um, and that's simply how you can add uh, or import audio on CapCut desktop. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to increase the volume on your CapCut video. So start by adding your video to the timeline down here and now click on it. And now um, you'll see a menu like this. Simply go up in the very top on the right hand side and click audio. And you can adjust your volume right here. Um, I suggest playing the video while you do it. So I'm going to play it now and then you can see as I increase my volume, I can find the perfect level for me. So click play. And that's how you can increase your volume on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to change the language of your CapCut uh, in the front screen. So to start with, open up your CapCut and now in the top right corner you have two little icons here. Simply click on the little round icon that says settings. And now click settings here at the first uh, option at the drop down. And in here you have draft, edit, performance and language option. So simply click language, choose your language. And now click save. And once you've done that, the language on your CapCut will be changed on PC. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to delete the cache of your CapCut desktop. So start by opening up the front menu of your CapCut and now go up to the top right corner here and click on settings and click settings again. And now here in the first option that says draft, you have an option down here that says cache size. Um, and there's a little bin next to it. Simply click here. And now clear cache files, click OK. And now click save. And now you have cleared all the cache on your CapCut on PC. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to save every video you edit at 60 frames per second or 60 FPS. So to start with, go to, to the front menu. Um, and as you can see right now, if I click create project, it will open up um, new video that will say 30 FPS. Um, and I would have to manually adjust it when I click export. So I can't do this right now, but I would ha have to manually click 60 FPS. But if I want to avoid this, simply go back to the front menu and go up into settings up here and click, click settings. And now simply go to edit and go down to the frame rate. And here you can click and set it to 60 frames per second. And once you're happy, with the frames you've set it to, simply click uh, save, sorry. Um, and now when I click create project, you can see it would automatically be saving it in uh, 60 frames per second. And that's how you can change the FPS of your videos in CapCut permanently. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to recover a deleted CapCut project. So start by opening up CapCut on your desktop and then you'll be on a front menu that will look something like this. Um, on your front menu, simply go over to where it says trash here, click. And now you can see that I have 21 recently removed items. 
as you can see here, it says that the items will only stay, only stay here for 30 days. So if it's beyond 30 days, your project might per be permanently deleted. Otherwise, you'll easily find it uh, if you scroll through here. Um, and simply select the video and then you can recover the project safely. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to extract audio from a clip in CapCut. So start by importing your video clip up here. Uh, and if you've already done that, simply click on the little plus icon for the video that you want to extract the sound of here. And now down on, down on the timeline, simply right click on the video and go down here where it says extract audio, click. And now you can see that you have um, an audio on the timeline down here as well. Um, and that's simply how you extract audio on CapCut desktop. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to invert the colors of your video in CapCut. So start by uploading your video and adding it to the timeline and now click on the video in the timeline. And now in the right section here, I want to go over to adjustment in the top section. Click uh, curves, sorry. And now on the very first curve you see here in the top that says Luma, I want to, to drag this uh, button up and this one down here. And now you can see when you play the video, um, everything is inverted. Hey guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to remove the green screen on a video on CapCut. So to start with, start by adding your green screen and I'll select your clip and the timeline. And I wanted to go to video, you're probably gonna start in basic and I wanted to go to remove BG or background. And now simply click on the tick mark outside the chroma key, click color picker here, and now choose the green screen. From here, I wanted to increase the intensity until it blacks out like, uh, let's see, like as best as you can without, or to diminish as much green as you can. And now from here, I wanted to go and add uh, what you want to appear on the green screen. For this, I'm just going to use what we already have here from CapCut. Simply drag it down on the timeline, extend it here. And we don't want this text to be on top. So I wanted to take the video here and drag it on top of CapCut. And now click here and you can adjust it. If this is what I want to show. And now when I click play, when I click play, you can see that we have removed the green screen successfully. Um, and that is basically how you remo remove green screens in CapCut Desktop. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to create a green screen in CapCut. So if I want this cut to act as the main focus of the green screen, start by adding the clip to your timeline by clicking the little plus here. And now select the part of the video that you want to become a green screen. So I'm just going to choose till here, just for the example of this video. Cut it by click Control B and now delete the long clip. You don't need to do this. This is just because the clip was a bit long. Um, so the next step is to go and actually download a picture of a green screen. So I've just Googled green screen and I've chosen the first picture. I've already downloaded this, but just simply just... Uh, right click and now go down and save image as um, and now on uh, CapCut click import and edit. So now the next step is to go under cat video um, here sorry click down on the timeline and now on the video you want to go to remove background here and the easiest and fastest way to create a green screen is simply using the alt removal feature. And as you can see when I play the video, it's not perfect, but it's definitely worked. Um, and the next step is to add the green screen, click uh, and drag down here. And now click um, on the cat video and go back here. Uh, click on the cat video and put that on top here and now click on a green video and just expand the green screen until it fits the entire um, section here and now as we play we have a you know a base for the green screen i'm just going to make it the same length here so 
now this is ready to download that's the first step so go up and click export in the top right corner and you don't really need to change anything you can change the name of it i'm just going to create green screen uh video and you can try uh, you can choose where you download it to this doesn't matter to me right now i'm just going to click export and cancel um now delete everything you've done down here and now import the green screen green screen video and now you can cl click on the little plus and add it to your timeline and as you can see we have the green screen here to um, add a new background simply click here and now go to remove background again click chroma key the little tick mark here and click color picker now you want to um, click on the green color and then I want you to go and import uh, the background for the video. Um, for this, I'm just going to use what's in the stock here. Uh, let's say I want to add um, some clouds, maybe. Yeah, I want to add these. So simply drag it down. And now I want you to go here under color. So video, remove background, enable chroma key, color picker, go under, like, under green screen. And now you want to drag the intensity here. And the next step is to put the green screen on top here. And as you can see now, we have successfully made a green screen. It's not perfect, but um, there's other options out there. And this video is quite high quality, so it looks a bit more grainy. Um, but that's essentially how you can make a, gr a quick green screen on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to export a still frame in CapCut. Um, start by dragging down the video you want the frame from. And now take the playhead and place it where you want the still frame to be exported from. So if I want this frame, um, I'm gonna stop it right here. Now go up here on the player and click at the little hamburger menu here. And now you can click export still frames. And now you can change the name of it, the location that it's going to get downloaded to, the resolution and the format. And now you can also um, t take this toggle off, otherwise it's going to add it as a, a separate picture here. You might may not want that, um, but if you do, simply uh, leave it on and now you click export. And because I kept the frame, uh, it has the picture here, but if I wanted, let's say this frame, I'll go up here, do the same again export still frame and now toggle this off and now click export and as you can see it didn't act, uh, add this frame here and that's how you um, export a frame on CapCut. Hi guys in this video I'll teach you how to create a split screen in CapCut PC. Start by adding your main clip this is going to act as, as my main clip click plus and now I want you to add the second video that you want to split the, the main video with as an overlay. You do that by simply clicking and dragging down here on the timeline and letting go. And now you can see when I just move this, we have two different videos on top of each other. Um, this is obviously not ideal. So the next step is to select the overlay that we just added. And now go down to mask and click horizontal. From here, we can rotate here to 90 degrees if I wanted to make this split um, and besides this you don't want to see only half the cat so now you can take on this line simply and drag it until you have the frame and picture that you want here and now you can go back to basic and drag it like this and now to move the other picture we don't actually need to have the second part of the video we can just drag it here um, but if you want to, you can go through the same process again and click mask and click horizontal. Go 90 degrees and now we can widen it like so here. Um, and now when I click play, you can see that we have two videos next to each other. Um, and that is how you create a split screen in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to blur a specific part of a video in CapCut. So start by adding your main video to the track by clicking the blue button here. And this is going to act as your main video. And now you can either click, right click, click copy and click uh, paste again. Or you can simply take and drag down the video from up here. 
um, and make it act as a layer. So now the next step is to go up to effects here in the top left corner, go video effects, click lens, and now go down to blur. And now a mistake a lot of people make is simply click plus like this, and then the blur effect will apply to both videos. But I'm just going to go back here. And now I'm going to take the uh, blur effect and drag it onto the video. So you want to add it to the top video, not this one. So click here and drop it. And now we have the blur effect. And you can even adjust the timeline. So if you don't need to blur out the entire video, let's say it's um, a document or something you're showing that you want to blur out the details of, you can adjust it. Um, and now you can also adjust how intense the blur should be. Let's say I want it to be like this. And now from here, we only want to map or like blur out the bird. So in this case, click away from it. Just click anywhere here. And now click on the video again. The next step is to go up here, click video, then go to mask and click rectangle. And now we have a little square with the blur effect on. So now you can just adjust it. You can make it smaller if it's some text you want to, to blur out. Um, or you can make it bigger like this. Or you can even do the opposite here. Um, if it's something around object, you have a few different options here. Um, I'm just going to stick to the rectangle as a thing that looks better. Like this. And now you can just adjust it as you wish to. And when I click, I'm just going to mute this video so it's a bit loud. When I go back here and click play, you can see that it's been um, blurred out successfully. Hi hey guys, in this video I'll teach you how to add a voiceover to your CapCut video. So start by dragging this to where you want the voiceover to start. I'm going to make it start right from the beginning. And now the next step is to simply go over here on the right hand side on the little microphone you see here and click. And from here you select the microphone that you want to record with. Um, in this case, I want to use the microphone Fine here. And now, once you're ready to begin the voiceover, simply click on the red button here and start recording your voiceover. And now we are currently recording now. So you can hear the background noise of the video while you're doing the voiceover so that you can uh, adjust this as you like. And then you stop it here. And now you can see when we click away here that we have a voiceover down here. So when I go back and click play now, so you can hear the background noise of the video while you're doing the voiceover. So that, and that's simply how you can add a voiceover to your CapCut video. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how you can layer videos. So let's say I want this to be my main video and I want this to be a layer. So I'm going to start by adding my main video and it's going to go into this main uh, light gray track on CapCut. And now to layer your video, take the other video and instead of clicking the plus icon, drag it and put it above here. And as you can see, you can see that I have the background here and I have the cats on top. So to adjust this, I can simply take and drag here and make it smaller. I can drag it to a corner or whatever you want to layer or whatever your plan is. Adjust the picture. And now when you click play, you have two different videos uh, in the picture that are layered. And that's how you can layer uh, pictures on, sorry, videos on CapCut PC. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to reverse a video in CapCut PC. So start by adding your clip to the timeline and now select the clip that you want to reverse. So I'm gonna reverse this clip here. So I'm gonna click on it. And now you might think that the option to reverse it is over here. However, you actually need to head over to this little uh, line of options here. And now you want to click on this little icon here that says reverse. So simply click. And that's going to reverse. It's just going to take a little minute. And there we go. And now we see the video, sorry. And now we see the video in reverse. You can see it just flew backwards. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you can reverse a clip in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to rotate a video in CapCut. So start by adding your video to the timeline, click add to track. 
And now, if you haven't selected a video already and it looks like this, simply click on the little video in the timeline down here, like this. And now to rotate the video, go to the options you see over here and click on the one that says rotate. So if I wanted my video to be like this, I'd leave it here. And now if you want all of the gaps to be filled in, you can either drag it and ex uh, expand it, or you can simply use the scale here on the right hand side like this and adjust as you wish to. Um, and that's how you can rotate a video in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to resize a video in CapCut uh, desktop. So to start with, I just want to note that resizing a video means lowering the video quality to make the video um, take up less space in your PC. Uh, so that means lowering the resolution. That's what I'm going to be showing in this guide. Um, so you have two different options. The first option is to go to ratio. And this is also how you, um, some people think of resizing it, which is changing the ratio. So if you wanted to be fitted to TikTok, you can, for example, choose one of the options down here. However, that's not what I'm going to show in this tutorial. So if you want to lower the quality to save some space in your PC, uh, continue watching. So again, we still need to click on ratio and we can go to custom here. And now you can go down and you can go and change the resolution. So you want to change it to custom if it isn't already selected. And now instead of 1920, um, 18, uh, 1080, sorry, you can change it to, to 1280 times 720 here, which is the smaller format. So we keep the aspect ratio of the video. However, we do lower the resolution of the video. Um, and another option is to change the frame rate. So 60 FPS means that you get uh, 60 frames per second of video. So you, you can capture more movement, but we can lower this to 30, which is another common uh, choice. And that way we can also lower it. And once you're happy, you simply click save. And now the video quality has been lowered. If you don't want to go through this and you just want to keep it um, to the original, uh, then you can also go up when you export the video and you can lower the resolutions by clicking 720p, 480p. Um, and I think that's the best way for you to make an impact on the file, uh, the file size. Or you can go down the frame rate and choose a lower FPS if it's not already on 30. Um, I wouldn't recommend going below 30. Um, but yeah, those are two different options to resizing a video in CapCut on PC. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to resize your video in CapCut. So resizing your video typically means that you want to reduce the file size of the video. So um, to do that, click in the top right corner where it says 1080p. And now you have a few different options. You have the resolution, you have the frame rate, the code rate and smart HDR. At the very bottom of this pop-up we just saw, it says estimated file size 69 megabyte. So to reduce this, you have the easiest option, which is to reduce the resolution at the very top. So simply drag down to a lower resolution, 720p. And now you can see it'll be 40 megabytes instead. If it did 40 80p, it would only be 17 megabytes. I'm just gonna go back. You have another option, which is frame rate. You can go up to 60 and you can see now suddenly almost double um, the megabytes. Uh, 96 or you can go down to 24 and you can see it's 65 megabyte um, if you want to reduce your file size I recommend staying around 30 but 60 will give you the best picture if there's a lot of movement in your video now you have the code rate which also um, makes a quite significant um, mark on your video so if I put this to high into will be 86 megabyte and if I put it to low it will be 57 um, and last you have the smart HDR and that's not actually going to make a massive difference whether you turn it on or off as you can see now it makes no difference at all um, but yeah that's how you can uh, reduce the size uh, resize your video sorry on CapCut um, and I highly recommend just playing around with the resolution, but if that's not enough, then you have a few different options as well. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to rotate your video in CapCut. 
So start by selecting the video on the timeline that you want to rotate. Click and now go a bit to the side, to the right, sorry, and click transform. And I have the option to mirror, rotate, or crop your video. I'm going to click rotate. And as you can see, it simply rotates now. So just adjust it to the side you want it to be. And that's how you rotate your clip in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to fade in a video in CapCut. So start by uploading your clip and then select it at the bottom. And now you go to animations, which is at the bottom in the middle right now. Click. And now you can see you have at the top of these little animations here, you have an option that says in, out or combo. In is a fade in, out is a fade out and combo is fade in and out. Um, in this case, you want to fade in. So simply go here and now scroll a bit to the side. And now I'm going to click on the free fade in option. And now at the bottom, you can select how long the fade should be. So I want it to be, let's say I want it to be two seconds. And as you can see, it faded in. Once you're happy with the length of the fade in, simply click on the tick mark at the bottom right. And now to ensure you're happy, simply go back and click play. And if you're happy with it, now you can simply export it in the top right corner. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to draw in CapCut. So start by opening your video and now at the very bottom you want to click on the option that says text. And now go all the way to the right and now you have an option that says draw. And from here you can choose the style that you want to draw in. So for example here, I can choose this and now I draw a heart here. Or another cool feature of CapCut's drawing options is all the way to the right, you can see there's some arrow options here. So if I want to draw an arrow, if I want to point something out on the video, I could, for example, choose the color red to highlight it. And then this option here. And now you simply need to draw towards the object that you want to point at. So like this and this, for example. Um, and that's how you draw on CapCut and use the drawing function on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to extract audio in CapCut. So start by uploading your video and now once you have uploaded it, click on the video in the bottom. And now scroll a bit to the right. Until you see the thing here at the bottom that says extract audio. It's in the middle right now, that's what the icon looks like here. Click. And now you can see down under, it says extracted audio one um, and that's the audio so now you can clip the audio if you want to um, remove the audio from a part of the video um, and that's simply how you do it hi guys in this video i'll teach you how to add a layer to your CapCut video so start by uploading your first video and now at the bottom menu you want to click overlay which you can see in the middle right now click and now click Add Overlay. And now you choose the video or picture that you want to um, layer. I'm just going to choose this one. Click Add. And now you can hold and you can adjust. Um, and you can click on the picture in the middle if you want it to fill out a, another part of the screen. And now you have two different videos um, and have successfully added a layer in your CapCut video. Guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to find templates in CapCut if your CapCut looks like mine does. Um, so the best option is to actually just go to TikTok here and now go and search and click, uh, sorry, type CapCut templates, as you can see in the first option here, click and now go to users. And here you have um, so many different options to find CapCut templates. If you want to find screen screen options, you can search um, up this account, I green screen things here, and then go users. And here you can see um, loads of options for green screening uh, or green screen video options. Um, and that's your best bet at finding new templates for your TikTok videos in CapCut. Hi guys, 
In this video, I'll teach you how to remove background noise from a CapCut video. So as you can see in this video, there's quite a lot of background noise if I play it. So to remove this, simply click on the video and now go to the right until you see an icon that says reduce noise. So go to the very right and then click reduce noise at the bottom right corner. And to actually use this function, click on the little toggle next to uh, reduce noise to, uh, to the right side. And now it's reducing the noise. And I click tick. And now let's try and play it. And as you can tell, it has instantly reduced a lot of the background noise from the video. Hi guys. In this video, I'll teach you how to invert colors of a video in CapCut. Start by selecting the video at the bottom on the timeline. And now go a bit to the right until you see the little button that says adjust. Click. And now uh, you have filters, adjust and video quality. I want you to continue on the section that says adjust. And now down here, go a bit to the right until you see the option that says graphs that we have in the middle right now. And now you have the option for white, red, green, and blue. I want you to only edit the white section. So on the right side, I want you to drag the little dot all the way to the bottom. And on the left side, I want you to drag that button all the way to the uh, top. And now we have inverted the colors of the CapCut video. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to remove the background from a video in CapCut. So start by inserting your clip and now select it at the bottom on the timeline. And now at the very bottom menu, scroll a bit to the right until you see a remove BG, so remove background option that you can see in the middle right now. Click. And now you have three options. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how auto removal works, but I will make another video on custom removal and uh, the use of a chroma key. Um, but click auto removal. And now it's just going to apply it to the video for a second. So it's not perfect yet. As you can see, it just got updated. So now when I go back and I click play, you can see that it's nearly perfect. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to flip or mirror a video in CapCut Mobile. So start by uploading your clip that you want to flip. And now simply select the clip at the bottom by clicking on it. And now at the bottom menu, simply go a bit to the right until you see this little icon that says transform in the very middle. Click, and now you can click mirror. And now you have successfully flipped the video in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to increase the speed of a clip in CapCut. So start by selecting the clip you want to speed up. And now at the bottom, right next to split, you can see there's an option that says speed a bit to the left. Click. And now you can click on the normal, you can click on the curve option. I'm going to click on the normal option. And now you can simply use this little scale to increase the speed. By going up, I'm going to go to two just to see the effect of it. And as you can see, the clip got um, reduced a bit because we're speeding it up. That means the clip is going to be faster. Um, so instead of being 45 seconds, you can see the duration says from 45 seconds to 22.5 seconds. Once you're happy with it, click the little tick mark at the bottom right. And now when we play the video, you can see it's sped up. And that's how you increase the speed on a video in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to use a green screen in CapCut. So if you have a template like this, I'm going to show you how to use it. So simply start by clicking use template. And now you select your uh, background for the template itself. For this, I'm just going to use a video um, that I already have here. You can also use a photo, you don't need to use a video. Click next. And now you can click on the little Sorry, and now you can click on the little um, green screen clip. So click uh, click in the middle on the cat here in this example. Now take two fingers and you can resize it 
by zooming in or out with your fingers. Uh, let's say I want like this. And once you're satisfied, you simply click export and you upload it to TikTok or you download it to your phone. And that's how you can use a green screen in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to change the language on your CapCut. So start by going to the front menu like you see here. And now in the top right corner, click on the little settings symbol. And now you can see in the very top, there's an option uh, that says app language. Currently mine is in English, but if I click, you can see there's a range of different languages that you can choose from. And that's how you change your language on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to increase the volume of a video in CapCut. Start by selecting the video you want to increase the volume of. So in this case, I'm gonna click on this little seal at the bottom on the timeline. And now at the bottom menu, go a little bit to the right until you see volume, click on volume. And now you can increase the sound uh, or the volume of the clip to your liking. Once you're satisfied, click the tick mark at the bottom right. And now the uh, volume of the clip will be increased. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to add transitions to a video in CapCut. So start by going and find um, the middle part here down on the video where you see a little square right now um, and click on that square. That's where you want to add the transition between. Oh, so click. There we go. You should get a pop up like this. And now you want to go to the transition that you want to add. I'm just going to go to the blur option here and I'm going to add a bubble blur. And now click on the little tick at the bottom right corner. And now when we play it, we'll see that there's a transition added. And there we go. That's how you add a transition in CapCut. Hi guys. In this video, I'll teach you how to add text to your CapCut video. So start by inserting your video. And now at the bottom, you can see on the third row, it says text. So click there. And now, depending on what kind of text you want, you can click on the add text to the bottom left, or you can scroll and you can add auto caption or auto lyrics, um, depending on what you wish to do. Um, for this tutorial, we're just going to add text to the left here. And now, let's say I just want to make the title of this video Rapids. And now you can go on presets, or you can go fund, styles, effects animations or you can add a text bubble and that is how you have a few different options to add text to your CapCut videos hi guys in this video i'll teach you how to change the aspect ratio of your video in CapCut. so to start with you can see you have a menu down here and you can see right here when you scroll you have a little square where it says aspect ratio underneath click there and now you have a few different options here. So if you want to upload a normal YouTube video, just click on this little one with the YouTube icon in the middle that says 16 by 19. And it's a bit difficult to see as CapCut is dark, but um, now you have a wide video. Um, so it won't be uploaded as a short to YouTube. Or if you want to make a TikTok, you simply click on the TikTok version. Um, and that is simply how you change the aspect ratio of CapCut videos. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to crop a video in CapCut. So start by selecting the clip that you wish to crop. For me it's going to be this clip. And now at the very bottom slide all the way to the right until you see the little icon that says transform underneath. Click and now at the bottom right click crop. And now you can do free aspect crop or you can choose a custom, uh, sorry, a default like this so that it fits within the frame of the video. If you're making a vertical video for TikTok or Instagram. And now once you're satisfied, just click the little tick at the bottom right. And that's it. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to change text color and cap cut. So start by adding your text at the bottom click text and then click add text at the bottom left and now i'm just going to write monty because that's the text i want for this video and now you can see under where i just wrote monty you have a few different options so from here click styles the third option and now you can just scroll 
and change the color to whatever you want or you can pick a color from um, the video I want this color for example so it matches the video click tick and there you have it hi guys in this video I'll teach you how to change the background color of a CapCut video so as you can see I already have a small video so I can already see the um, background of it but if you need to change it you can simply click on the video and then you can zoom in or out um, so let's say I want like this and I want the back background, the black background to be white. So now at the very bottom, I simply scroll all the way to right and now I click at the background option at the bottom right corner. And now I click color at the bottom left corner and then I select white. And then I click tick mark and that's it. Here we have it. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to cut audio in CapCut. So I'm just going to extract the audio from this video I have here. So click on it and then slide all the way to the right until you see extract audio right here. So at the bottom of the line, it says extract audio. Click there. And now we can see we have an audio track underneath the video. So click on the audio track. Let's say I wanted to cut the, um, cut the sound right here. So click on it, then click split. And now I want to do it to here split and now you click on the middle part that we want to delete and then we click delete at the very bottom right and there we have it now we have made a cut in the audio on CapCut. hi guys in this video i'll teach you how to fade audio in or out um i'm not going to use, use music for this video um but it's around the same method um, so I'm just going to use the audio from the clip itself um, of these two rabbits eating banana. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the video at the bottom and now go to the right where it says extract audio uh, right here at the bottom middle, extract audio. And now you can see I have my audio at the bottom. So to fade the audio in and out, simply click on the extracted audio one tap here. And now you have an option that says fade at the bottom click there and now I can drag on fade in or out so if I want it to be like this you can see the audio um, it has like a curve to it uh, where it fades the sound in and then fade out as well let's say I want that two seconds so you can see here now it has like a curve to it so when I play the video um, we can hear that it fades it in and out Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to fade a video out in CapCut. So start by selecting your clip you want to fade and now click animations at the bottom in the middle. And now you can see there's a few different options. However, these are um, options to, for example, fade in. I want you to click out and now go over to the option that says fade out. I'm just going to mute the video. And now you can choose the length of the fade out. I want it to be one and a half seconds long. And now I'm going to click on the tick mark at the bottom right. And now when I play the video, you'll see the fade. Yeah, and that's how you fade out a video on CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to freeze a video in CapCut. So to start with, simply find the area where you want to freeze. I'm going to say right here. Click on the video at the bottom, so not the big picture, but the small picture. Click, and now go all the way to the right at the bot. Sorry, all the way to the right, and now you can see there is an option here that says freeze. So click there, and now CapCut automatically makes a three second freeze. So now go to the side, and click on it, and now you can drag it to reduce the time. I don't want it to be three seconds long, for example. Uh, so let's say I wanted it to be half a second. Here we go. And now when I play the video, you can see that it just frees this frame. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to do text to speech on CapCut. So start by adding your text at the bottom here. Now I'm just going to uh, write, uh, these are two rabbits. 
And now I want this to become text to speech. So now you can see at the bottom right here at the end of the line you see in the very middle, it says text to speech. So click there. And now you have um, a wide range of options. Um, I'm gonna go on the female. I don't have pro, so I'm gonna choose a free voice. I'm gonna choose charming female. These are two rabbits. And once you're satisfied, you simply click on the tick mark at the top right. And now when you play the video, these are two rabbits. You can see that we have successfully added text to speech. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to delete projects in CapCut. So start by going down to your projects and now hold on a random video. I'm going to hold on the first one. And now it should look like something similar to this. And now you simply mark the videos you want to, to delete from your CapCut. And then you click delete at the bottom. And now you click delete again. And that's how you delete um, projects from your CapCut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to duplicate a project in CapCut. So start by going to your home screen and now scroll down to projects, find a project that you want to duplicate. And now on the right side, you see three small dots. So click there, like here. And now above the lead at the very bottom, you can see it says duplicate. So simply click there. And now CapCut has made um, a duplicate of your video or project. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to drag audio in CapCut. So if you have the same issue as you see here where I hold on the audio and try and drag it, you can see it just marks it, but nothing really happens. You simply need to go down in audio at the bottom left corner. And as you can see, the uh, audio clip just changed a bit, the look of it. And now you can simply hold on it and drag. So you simply have to go into the audio settings to drag the audio in a uh, cap cut. Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how to add a background to your CapCut video. So to start with, simply zoom out the current video or photo you wish to add a background to. So here, I'm just going to take two fingers on this image. First click on it and then zoom out like this. It's a bit hard to see, but there's a small black border now. Uh, and now click on the arrow in the bottom left to go back. And now at the very bottom, take your finger and slide it all the way to the left until you can see background at the bottom right. Now we click. And now we can add a background color, an image, blur the background or um, add brand backgrounds. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to add a color. And let's say I want it to be blue. I don't know. Um, and that is simply how you add a background. Um, and if you want to add a, uh, an image, simply click on the image option. And now you have a few pro features or you have some basic options that CapCut offers. Or you can click on the little um, plus icon next to the pro um, image to add your own personal image in the background. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to make a cut in CapCut on a video. So to start with, select your video and now take your video to where you wish to make the cut. I'm going to make a cut right here. Click on the video, click split at the bottom left corner. And now select the other part to which you want to cut the video. I'm going to say right here. Click split again. And now you click on the little uh, clip we have made a cut off in the middle and click delete at the bottom right corner. And that is it. Now we have made a successful cut in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to add keyframes to your uh, CapCut videos. So to start with, select where you want to add the keyframe, I'm going to say right here. Now click on the video at the bottom part, so where you add all your videos. And now at the main video that you look at when you edit, at the bottom right corner you can see a little square with a plus icon. Click there. And now you have successfully added a keyframe to your video. Hey guys, in this video I'll teach you how to change the frame rate in CapCut. So, once you have your video uploaded and you're ready to download it, go up to where it says 1080p in the top right corner and click. And now you have the second option here which says frame rate, where you have like a slider. 
So slide it to the frame rate you wish to change it to. Um, I highly recommend going 60 to get as many frames per second in your video um, for the best quality. And that's how you change the frame rate in CapCut. Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to do split screen in CapCut. So start by clicking near project and only select one video. I select this cat here, click add. And now the next step is to go down at the bottom menu and now click on overlay which you find in the middle currently. Then click add overlay. And let's say I want to add this seal as the split screen. Now you can see you have two video tracks at the same time. Um, so now to actually split the screen up, simply click on the cat video and now take two fingers on the big picture of the cat and simply minimize it. Now you can go up here and you can increase it until it fills out the edges like this here. Now click on the seal video and do the same thing. Um, and simply size up or down until you're happy with the split. So I can click on the cat video again if I wanted to adjust that a little bit up or down. Let's say I wanted to add the entire face width and the seal. If I wanted to be... I think this is good. Um, and now I want to click play. I'm just going to mute it in case of sound. Click play. You can see that there's two videos playing at the same time. If you don't have the option to split the screen up in this format, simply go down to the bottom and now go to aspect ratio. And now you can click on the little TikTok icon here. Mine's automatically um, that size because I added the cat video, um, but yours might have been look looking like this for YouTube. Um, so if you don't see this, simply click on the TikTok or um, whatever size you want. There's a few options here. Um, and then once you have, you simply click the tick mark and there you have it.